Hello everyone and welcome back to Theme Park Technology. Today's video will be covering ride clearance envelopes and roller coaster pull through tests. If you enjoy our content, give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you know when we upload a new video. And check out our website for some cool merchandise. All purchases go to supporting the channel. The American Society of Testing and Materials, or ASTM, has a technical committee, F24, on amusement rides and devices. This committee was formed in 1978 and has developed standards on every aspect of designing, manufacturing, testing, and maintaining theme park attractions. F2291 is the standard practice for design of amusement rides and devices. Part of those standards is the clearance or ride envelope. This clearance envelope provides the appropriate space between the guests and elements of the ride. The clearance envelope is based on the Dreyfus Human Scale, or the CDC 95th percentile of human male reach, with an additional arm and leg reach of 3 inches at a minimum. Manufacturers or theme parks may choose to go beyond the minimum arm and leg reach to provide additional clearance. Restraint design and type play a role in determining the clearance envelope as different restraints will change the amount of reach a guest is able to achieve while on board. The manufacturer is also responsible for specifying minimum and maximum height restrictions. Restraint and ride vehicles should also be designed in a manner that limit the ability of guests to be able to reach outside of the ride vehicle in the first place. Rides that have motion bases or spin while traveling through the attraction must have their clearance envelope designed around those factors. If there are movable systems or devices designed to temporarily encroach on the clearance envelope, it is required to be designed in a fail-safe manner to prevent unintended contact. Manufacturers and theme parks use software, such as X-Track, that help to automatically generate a clearance envelope in the design phase to help with ensuring that clearance is maintained the entire length of the ride. Once the attraction is built, a pull-through test must commence to check the clearance envelope and ensure nothing is going to hit when they start making those first laps. Proper setup is important to a successful clearance test. Lifting and rigging equipment such as winches, chains, straps, and pulleys are used to pull the train through. Rigging is attached to both the front and rear chassis of the train for the pull-through. A clearance envelope template is placed on the train. For larger outdoor roller coasters subject to high winds and heights, the template is a metal frame. If it were solid, it could potentially be torn off by high winds. For smaller coasters, they may perhaps use a smaller solid template, and in some instances, the frame will have small metal tabs spread around the perimeter. If the clearance envelope is breached during the pull-through test, these metal tabs will bend to indicate an obstruction in the ride track. The pull-through test is a slow process and can take several weeks depending on the type of ride. Large roller coasters are challenging and being safe is of the utmost importance. While pulling the train, it is very important that the train is pulled in a linear fashion in relation to the track. Pulleys and snatch blocks can be mounted on the track to make sure the train is always being pulled in a way that prevents causing undue stress or damage to both the train and the track. A team of riggers and a crane operator will work in tandem to pull the train through. In order to maintain control of the train, whether it's cresting a hill or going through a valley, the train is secured at both ends so that it doesn't roll away uncontrollably. During the pull-through test, the team is constantly checking for proper clearances and taking measurements around the train, track, and other equipment, making sure that things like flags and sensors are properly mounted and will function as designed. Once the pull-through test is complete and all clearance checks have passed, the ride can start cycling ride vehicles in continuation with its installation and programming. Well, that's it for today everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Be on the lookout for future videos and comment down below what you would like to learn about next.